Yeah, you could do this. But wouldn't you rather do this? You could do this. But wouldn't you rather do this? Why not show a little flash? Today, we're talking about four flashy runs that are easy to play. Before we get too deep into it, this video is brought to you by Open Studio. Go to openstudiojazz.com for all of your jazz lesson needs. There is a PDF. You're gonna want to download that because all four of these flashy, flashy runs are on that PDF. Make sure to get that in the description below. Okay, all four runs that we're gonna be talking about today are pretty conventional. In fact, they've been played by pianists for well over a hundred years. And, uh, you know, most famously, pianists like Art Tatum, use these super flashy, super entertaining runs to add that bit of extra spice to their playing. Art Tatum famously uh, just chocked full of these beautiful runs. And there's something that they all have in common. That's that they're easy to play. And they are easy to play. All of these things are very ergonomical. They're very pianistic. And we're gonna talk about the correct fingering and how to practice them in a way that we can get up speed. That's the other thing that all of these runs share is that they actually are easier to play fast. The faster you go, the more that rhythm sort of settles in to the run itself. You're gonna love this. You're gonna sound like you are, you could play really, really fast on any of these because they just, they fit in your hand so well. And like I said, once you find that shape and once you find the fast rhythm of it, it's a turn and burn. It's a grip it and rip it. It's a shake and bake. And you're gonna see that starting here on our very first run. All four of our runs today are gonna to be in the key of E flat. Some of our runs are very difficult in some keys and very easy in others. Luckily, all four of these runs lay really, really well in the key of E flat. So try to transpose some of these to other keys and see what works and what doesn't. You're gonna find that there are certain keys where uh, certain runs just fit better. That's why the pianists can play them so fast. They just lay really well in the keys themselves. Number one is the key of E flat. It's a, it's a run that you would play on a five chord as if you are setting up a tune. So you have your dominant seven chord, your B flat seven chord, and it's as if you're, you're setting up the one, maybe at the very beginning of the tune, you just want a little run to set up the key and you give them one of those. And then you're into the key of E flat. So what is that? That's a very beautiful run. So this is based off of a flat nine, sharp 11, half hold diminished scale almost, right? And there's two notes in our left hand and four notes in our right hand. The two notes in our left hand are A flat and B flat, starting on the third finger of the left hand. And then the four notes in the right hand, starting on the thumb, are B natural, D natural, E natural, and G. So all white keys. So two black keys, all white keys. This is something that you're gonna see with some of these runs is there's this alternation between black keys and white keys. Why? Because it's ergonomical, right? Because it's just easy to grip it and rip it. So this is how we get this run. We just practice first just the single octave. So just play through this, just here in this very first octave. Don't worry about going over the octave. It's really a lot about getting the timing between the two hands. One way that we can practice this is with a metronome, and you can start fairly slowly. We can start practicing the crossover here. We have uh, some 16th note triplets. That's a sextuplet there. Right, so it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Play this with me. This is where it starts. Make sure to hit the high A flat with your third finger. You could also do some blocking practice where you play all the notes of one hand at once get your hand in the position. That's especially helpful when we start going up above the octave. Let's try two octaves. So I was rushing through there. There it is. Whew. Again, blocking practice. Playing all 
the notes of each hand together and then breaking it up. Let's try three octaves. Let's try speeding it up just a little bit. Let's take it up. That was at 76. Let's take it up to 90. That's good. Now is where we take it to the second part. We take the sustain pedal down and we just practice finding some speed. Really, again, focusing on that transition between, between the right hand and the left hand. Try to do it without a sustain pedal. Because that really lets you know how clean you can get it. Turn and burn on it. Once it's laid in, you're going to find that it's really fun. And then you can just fly. Beautiful. For number two, we've played our five chord, our B flat seven. What about on a one chord when we get to the one, E flat major? Well, there's a beautiful little turn and burn, little grip it and rip it, little shake and bake we can do here that begins on the third and the seventh of any major chord. Like I said, this is gonna lay pretty well in about, I think seven or eight keys. This lays really, really easily. Maybe more if you're more technically advanced pianist, but this is so beautiful here, so check this out. It's just a turn where you put your second finger on the third, up a fourth, and then rock it. Rock your, your hand back down through the thumb. And then do that again on the seventh. Right, so two, five, two, one, two, five, two, one. It's that same finger. You're gonna notice that all of these, it's repeatable fingering, right? That's why we say grip it and rip it, because you can, once you find the shape, then you just turn your, turn your wrist. And that's all you gotta do. This is so beautiful. Combine this with your. Let's try it here. We'll try it at 90. Let's try the second measure here. Play that with me. One, two, three, and. Three, and. All right, the same fingering on the way down, it's just two, 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 two. And then we're just rocking. Let's try taking the tempo up, just a hair, to 120. Two, three, and. Isn't that great? Three, and. Uh, two, three, and. And then, like I said, you could take this to any key, right? All you have to do is find the third and the seventh of any major chord, like on C. What about F? flat, right? You just find the third and the seventh, up a fourth, down a second, up a fourth, down a second, right? It's so, so easy. And it's all the same fingering. Two, five, two, one, two, five, two, one, two, five, two, one. You can do two, four, two, one, if you have larger hands, whatever's easiest, but it's all about that rocking back and forth, right? Keeping a nice, relaxed, greasy, loose wrist. Oof. Sloppy. Isn't that great? And then combining. Imagine you're at the end of the tune. Gorgeous. All right, number three, we have a very famous whole tone run. We're back on the five chord, the B flat seven chord. And this is just starting on G flat up in whole steps. It's a whole tone scale. Very dreamy, right? Very spacey. 
And the, this particular whole tone scale uh, is so ergonomical because if you start on G flat here, you might notice in your left hand, three black keys, in your right hand, three white keys. So here in our left hand, we go four, three, two, and then we switch to our right hand, one, two, three. Isn't that great? So again, the way to practice this, we're just smushing all the notes with each hand that plays them, and then break it up. Isn't that awesome? Try two octaves. Blocking. Break it up. Uh. Uh. Again, between that hand could be where a lot of work comes in. So here if we look at bars two and three of our example, again, we lay down a big B flat pedal, sustain pedal could go on. And then we just go up this whole tone. And then maybe we're at the end of a tune. So we go down with our snowfall run. Okay, our final flashy run is one that you might again hear someone like Art Tatum play, someone like Oscar Peterson. This one actually just need two fingers, right? Just the third finger and the thumb. It's one handed. It goes down an E flat major six chord, a major six chord starting on the root. And it's just here, if we look at the first example, just four notes. And the fingering is three, one, three, one, three, one. It's just three, one. You literally like lobster claw your way down the piano with this. Isn't that great? So you have all these big muscles and you just, you need a loose wrist. Again, a nice greasy loose wrist. Maybe you go up on a whole tone and come down here on your lobster claw. Isn't that beautiful? Let's try it here with a metronome. 16th notes. Let's just go down one octave. Right? You might, you might block it where you play Just, again, think about turn and burn, grip and rip. Try two octaves. I'm going to block it first. What that does is get your hand, gets your hand in the position on the keyboard. Now, break it up. Yeah. Thanks so much. Don't forget to download the PDF. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And until next time, happy practicing.